Damn, kind of feel like it's time for a new intro video. I might start working on one of those now. Um, new video. Thought uh, I already had a video like this up. I know I have some Chrome and Super Chrome comparison videos, but I don't have one of Super Chrome Plus, which is the newest variant from Prismatic with clear vision on top. So doing this set of wheels, going to be priming them first in a Cardinal Primer just to kind of fill in some of the pitting that was on these wheels. Uh, if you're doing them chrome, obviously, you're going to want them to look as mirror-like as possible, so you want to have a really smooth base down uh, to put your chrome onto. And this right here is why I normally will do a little spray out on the wall to make sure I'm getting good flow, make sure I got a good cloud. Um, I wasn't, figured out the problem, and back to spraying powder. I guess while I got you guys here, this would be a good time to remind you that on Facebook there is a group called UKC Army. Um, has tons of helpful information, helpful people. If you guys have questions or you have questions for me or questions that uh, are just about powder coating and you're looking for help or advice or input or any of those things, uh, jump into that group. Um, add people every day. There's uh, tons of new people every day and lots of content in there for you to soak up. Once again, you're going to see in this video these long strokes and then, of course, my little wrist flick thing. Um, I'm trying not to convince myself that the wrist flick doesn't do anything, but I swear it helps powder get into tight corners a lot of the time. Um, it might just be me thinking that, but it probably won't stop me from doing it. All right, now we got the fun part, dragging these out and throwing them up into the oven. Uh, I'm gonna be curing out this powder part way, obviously, we mostly uh, flow out plus a few minutes. Uh, that'll allow these super chrome to bite to it a little bit better when we go to throw that on. Oh, don't mind this, uh, just trying out some different uh, features in this editing software that I've been using. Alright, now that we got the primer all flowed out, got these wheels uh, cooled down to below 150 degrees, it'll be time to throw the Super Chrome Plus onto them. I have no idea why it's so hard to hit those buttons while I'm looking through my phone to record these videos, but the last two videos I recorded, and I think there's actually another one, it, I'm just struggle city trying to push that button. Jeez, two times in one video I'm struggling trying to get a cloud going on this thing. The OptiFlex Pro never lets me down though. And on this video, I'm going to be doing something that I've done, I think in some previous videos, where I'm going to do a light coat, put it in the oven to kind of flow it out. Not quite to flow out. You'll actually see in this video how far along it gets. Um, it's right where it starts to gel, but it's still you know, not quite a powder, not quite flowed out. Um, and then pull it back out of the oven and, you know, of course, wait for it to cool down and spray another light coat on top of it. What that ends up doing is giving you a much smoother finish, in my opinion, a lot better coverage. Um, plus, it's going to stop you from getting it too heavy because you're just doing two really light coats. 
Um, I do that on chromes a lot, and then anything that's like a super high gloss or reflective type surface, like a mirror black, for example, um, I do that. This gives a better all, better overall finish. I've gotten quite a bit of feedback about the style of video, uh, this particular style. It seems like most of you guys actually like this style, so I'm probably going to keep doing a lot of videos similar to this. I actually have a couple like in, like really in-depth tutorials that I'm working on, uh, as well as a couple like shorter kind of tech tip videos that I'm working on. So expect those to be up in the next couple weeks as well. All right, so here's these wheels. You can see they're flowed out. I mean, it's definitely reflective, uh, but they haven't float out all the way you know they've just started to gel out um, this oven isn't like perfectly even so these front wheels get a little bit warmer than the back ones um, not a huge difference but you can see it's kind of like a matte finish not truly reflective um, now we'll be throwing a second light coat onto these to of course you know get that high reflective you know nice smooth perfect finish And as always, if you're looking to learn about powder coating or just like powder coating content in general, make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications. I've been trying to post a ton of videos lately. I'm going to keep doing that um, on a pretty good little streak right now. Uh, also hit that like button. Helps keep these videos up in the algorithm. Um, you guys have been doing awesome so far. I'm trying to get something like 100 likes per video, which is not a big goal, but you guys can definitely help me in doing that. So hit that like button if you can. Here we're just throwing some clear vision on these things. Um, obviously, Super Chrome Plus, you can't just leave it without a clear on it. Um, I believe it has like no UV protection. I know it turns like a super dingy gray if you don't put clear on it. it might take some time, but it has like no chemical resistance, no abrasion resistance, no anything. So you have to put a clear on it. A lot of people complain that the clear kind of dulls the finish, and I will admit it does. But this is one of the best combinations that I've seen of a chrome and clear from anybody. Um, Hacinda has a great chrome, but it seems like once again, when you clear it, kind of loses that mirror-like finish. Um, Super Chrome Plus with Clear Vision has actually been pretty good for me. Um, I'm gonna you know, probably keep using it until something better comes up. A lot of people ask me if there's better chrome and clear combinations out there. And although at different times, I think there have been, I think right now, this is probably the best one on the market. And I swear, taking some time off has made making videos pretty difficult. I, I struggle with all sorts of things I never struggled with in the past. This is, of course, me wiping powder off my lens. And I could have edited that out, but I'm just going to leave it in. Also, I wanted to say thank you for all you guys who are giving input on these videos, um, asking questions in these videos, all that stuff uh, down in the comments section. I go through them, try to answer a bunch of them. I will eventually answer all of them. Um, still playing catch up a little bit, but figure by, I don't know, Christmas, which is in just a couple days now, um, I will have gone through and answered all the questions. So if you guys got questions, 
don't hesitate to ask uh, if you just want to make comments about the video give me any input I'm definitely open to it um, also looking for more video ideas I have a bunch kind of worked out already and some other ones that I'm still working on but if there's some stuff you guys want to see let me know and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up thanks again